Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to test an armature. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com or click on the link in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future tutorial videos. Here I'm working with an armature from a starter motor for a vehicle that is being rebuilt. This procedure can be applied to other armatures found on starter motors for small engines, power tools, household appliances, fans, etc. There are three tests which can be done to determine if there is a fault in the armature, which would result in it not functioning correctly or not working completely. First starting out with the basic parts of an armature and a very brief description just before we start the tests. Here is the shaft which allows the assembly to rotate in a bearing or bushing. Next is a commutator that is made up of various bars where the brushes ride. This creates a connection to allow the electricity to flow through. Each of the commutator bars are connected to the armature windings. The windings are unfortunately hard to see as they are hidden mostly behind the lamination stack. The lamination stack is broken into segments and one of those segments are called a tooth. Now down to the test. We will be using a multimeter on the lowest ohm setting. Each armature will have its own specific set of values for the second and third tests which are based on the armature's design. But initially we are looking for any large variations between these values. When using the test probes don't excessively push the pointed end of the probe into the bars as you can damage the surface. Be sure to touch the test probe to determine what the reading is of the multimeter so we can compensate for the difference in value. Starting with test number one. First we'll be doing a continuity test between each of the individual bars in the armature shaft which is ground. We want no continuity between each of the points, otherwise that will indicate there is a failure in the insulation resulting in a short. Hold the one test probe on the bar of the commutator, then hold the other on the shaft and take the reading. No reading should register on the multimeter, otherwise that will indicate there is a short. If there is a short then unfortunately the armature will need to be replaced. Testing a few more, as you can see, everything is in proper working order. Continue this test for all the bars. Now test two. This will be a bar to bar test of the commutator to determine the resistance. Leaving the multimeter in the same setting, touch the one probe on the one bar, and then the other probe on the adjacent bar. Then take note of the reading on the multimeter. Continue this for each of the bars, all the way around the commutator. As mentioned earlier, there will be a specific reading for this, which is dependent on design of the armature. But what is most important here is there is not a large fluctuation between the values, otherwise that will indicate a fault. An increase in resistance will mean there is either a broken or burned out wire in the coil. If the resistance drops, then there is a short. Continue this test for all the bars. Finally, test number three. This too also involves testing the bars of the commutator, but is based on testing the bars directly across from each other, or 180 degrees. We will be able to determine the condition of the windings. Leave the multimeter in the same setting, touch the test probe on the one bar and then the other probe on the other bar directly across from the first one. Again there will be a specific set of readings for this which is dependent on the design of your armature. But what is most important here is there is not a large fluctuation between the values otherwise that will indicate a fault as well. An increase in resistance will mean that there is either a broken or burned wire. If the resistance drops, then there is a short. Continue this test for all the bars. If the armature fails any of these tests, then it will need to be replaced. Sometimes you can have them rebuilt, but it's usually cheaper to purchase a replacement. Be sure to stay up to date with my latest videos. Subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.